Good day. I'm here with the Trump Organization's new medical spokesperson, Dr. Ron West. Welcome to the show, Dr. West. Thanks, Catherine. With 34 million people lacking insurance in this country, the feds have graciously provided us with Dr. West to answer any questions that we might have. Out of curiosity, Dr. West, what is your field of expertise? Infectious diseases? Drama. Drama? Yes, drama. Let's say a person has an intriguing premise, but the execution isn't quite working. I'm often brought in to find that last clue that transforms the lackluster show into one that truly dazzles. So we're talking about theater? Yes, I'm a show doctor. But you're also a medical doctor. Not per se. But you have a medical degree. I don't really hold a medical degree per se. But you have a degree in some other field. Not per se. I wonder if you know what per se means. I do happen to have a wealth of information about the time-honored medical applications of the past. I was once the consultant on a Molière play, The Doctor in Spite of Himself. In addition, I rely heavily on my medicine wheel. Ah, so you subscribe to the ancient Native American practice of consulting Father Sky, Mother Earth, and the Spirit Tree? No, it's just a cool wheel I made to assist me in my diagnosis. Diagnosis? Yes, it's the plural of diagnosis. Why don't we take a call and I'll show you what I mean. All right. Uh, Susan from Brooklyn, you're on the air. Hi, Dr. West. Uh, I have a nagging cough that has me worried. Plus, I I I'm having trouble with my big end of act one musical number. Interesting. You have coronavirus. Oh my God, but, but I don't have health insurance and I, I don't want to die alone. Exactly. That's why I'm here to help. With a spin of the wheel, we'll determine your time-honored medical cure. Here we go. Ah, yes, heroin. In Moliere's day, heroin was prescribed to people who were coughing and it must have done the trick because those people were never heard from again. Susan, do you have access to a drug dealer? No. I suggest you find one. You live in Brooklyn, it shouldn't be that hard. Do I see hydroxychloroquine on that wheel of yours? Why, yes, you do. You could try that too. And bloodletting. What have you got to lose? Incidentally, Catherine, today only, we're touting the benefits of heat, UV light, and injectable Clorox. Now, Susan, Tell me about that Act One closer of yours. It's got to use everybody in the cast, and it's got to make the audience ask, what's going to happen next? That way, they won't leave the theater at intermission. We'll be right back.